It's almost time to set your clocks back as daylight savings time comes to an end on Sunday. Our Hannah Cotter is live in Providence and Hannah. Some people think springing forward and falling back is a little outdated. Yep, Kim, Mike on Sunday will gain an hour of sleep, unlike in the springtime when we lose an hour. I'm not super excited because I like like for it to be light in the evenings, but the extra hour of sleep will be nice. Mixed emotions from Rhode Islanders as we prepare to fall back with the end of daylight saving on Sunday. While we gain an extra hour of sleep, the change also means it will get darker earlier. I don't like the the change every six months and I don't know that it's necessary anymore. Eddie Marrera used to live in Rhode Island, but now lives in Nevada. It just doesn't make sense anymore. Neighboring Arizona stays on standard time year round, along with Hawaii. Why should we change it? Just let it be. Give us more daylight. Some lawmakers have attempted to do just that. Senator Sheldon Whitehouse and Ed Markey sponsored the Sunshine Protection Act, which would make daylight saving time permanent. I think people in Rhode Island get pretty sorrowful when the day comes when suddenly it's dark driving home and they've lost that hour of afternoon daylight. That bill passed unanimously in the U.S. Senate back in 2022, but got stalled in the House. We'll consider the next Congress. Again, 100 to 0 in the U.S. Senate is not a bad score to take over to the House. And that time change will happen at 1 a.m. on Sunday. We're live in Providence, Hannah Cotter, 12 News.